Hey guys, it's Dizzy and welcome back. This is Drugstore and Affordable Liquid Lipsticks Compared Part 2. Today we're going to be talking about several brands. Um, we've got Color Pop, LA Girl, JCat Beauty, Milani Wet n Wild, and uh, Maybelline. So we're going to start off by saying that some of these None of these are tested on animals here in the US, but some of them do sell in China, and I will point out which ones aren't actually cruelty-free as we go. So I'm gonna start with kind of least favorite to most favorite-ish. So the least favorite, even though it's a beautiful color, is my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. I found this to be pretty drying. I found the wear time to be pretty average. And uh, the smell is horrifying. It smells super like chemically, It's, but with like fruit. So like think cleaning products, but with fruit. But the doe foot applicator is super interesting and I do like it. I like how this goes on and I love this color. It is a very moussey texture. It reminds me a lot of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, which you know I really like, but I don't think it stays on quite as well. This is the color Rouge Envy. I love the packaging, I love the doe foot, but this smell stays around for a couple hours, so it's not, it's not a win for me. And L'Oreal does sell in China, so it's not completely cruelty free. The next one I've got is the Maybelline Vivid Mattes. Now I bought two of these and I was sent two of these in an influencer box. And I will show you the colors that I have. I don't have any of the super dark colors, which I hear are patchy in these, but um, I do have the lighter, some of the lighter, brighter colors. And you know what, these are leaps and bounds better than L'Oreal. Um, they have a very nice feeling to the lip. I would call them a satin to matte if you blot them down, they actually will become more matte. Whereas the L'Oreal, as you see, as it sits on my hand, it's starting to dry down to a true matte. These never completely dry down until you like blot them and they turn into a stain. So starting with the lightest color, this is Nude Flush. Let me show you the applicator. It's very similar to the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick, so the applicator is long and kind of skinny. This is a really pretty nude color and I do very much like it. So that is that one and it stays on decently well. I feel like these, once they leave the stain, are really pretty nice and you can eat and drink and they stay on really great. The next one is Rebel Red, which was not my favorite because it's kind of an orangey red. This one's the ones I was sent. But if you want an affordable, kind of punchy, orangey red, it might be for you. These have a little bit of a smell, but it's not as terrible. And it's a little bit hard to describe, but it's not nearly as bad as the L'Oreal ones. Um, the next one, this is a color I actually do really like. This is Berry Burst. Because y'all know I love my pinks and berry kind of shades. These swatches are tragic, and I apologize. But that bottom one is very burst, really pretty color. And this one has a pretty stain to it. Stains really pretty and stays on nicely. And then I also like this one, which is Fuchsia Ecstasy, which is a nice bright. I would, they call this Fuchsia, but it has a lot of red tones. So I use this like a pink red. So that is what I like that one for. And um, like I said, these do test in, uh, sell in China, so they're not cruelty free. So I won't repurchase any of these, but they are pretty nice. Um, the next one is the Wet n Wild Mega Last. I only have one of these and it's in cherry on top. And Wet n Wild um, is cruelty free. It makes things in China, but as far as I know, it doesn't sell in China. Now these have a very Cool little flat doe foot. I like the applicator very much. I like the color. It's a gorgeous red. It has kind of another funky chemical smell with a little bit of like a fake 
um, bakery smell over it to try to make it less bad, but it's still kind of stinky. And honestly, I just, it stayed on really well. It was, there was nothing wrong with it. I just, I've never bought another one and I just don't really love it. It felt a little thick. It felt a little weird and it just wasn't my favorite. So yeah, I don't have any more of those. It's the only one. Next, I've got my Milani. These are gorgeous colors. They're a great formula. This one I wore and it stayed on for like eight hours. It was awesome, but oh my gosh, does it dry out your lips? I mean, just sucking the life out of your lip completely. And you know, the, the, the Maybelline ones don't do that. The L'Oreal ones were a little drying. The Mega Last was okay, it was a little drying, it wasn't tragic, but these are like, oh my god, I just wanted it off. Um, so this is the Amore Matte Lip Cream. That's the applicator. It's a nice little flat doe foot, which is very easy to use. And the color is called Obsession, and the color is spectacular. These have a very strong fake vanilla, like strong fake vanilla smell. And I don't like it nearly as much as I like the NYX fake vanilla smell, but that could be personal preference. And then the other color I have is Precious, which is a more nude everyday pink color, which is spectacular. One swipe, it's gorgeous. It stays on beautifully. It is probably the longest wearing nude I have that doesn't completely look patchy and weird by the end of the day but it does dry out my lips a lot but if you want an affordable extremely matte stay all day budge proof one the milani is a good choice okay the next one i have two different ones from la girl this is the glazed lip paint which is a lot like um, an OCC lip tar. I only have one of these, and this is in the color Bombshell. The applicator on these is tragic. Like, it's so bad. It's just this gooey tube thing. Um, they don't really smell terrible. They have a little bit of a scent, but it's kind of minty, which I like. And it almost never dries down. So I will show you. I'll get a paper towel and blot it. So if I do wear this, which is a pretty pink, so I do occasionally wear it, what I'll do is I'll put it on and then I'll blot it down. And it blots down to kind of more of a matte sort of feeling to it because it is a stain. So that one is not as much a liquid lipstick. It's more of a stain, but I thought I'd throw it out here anyway just to include it. So the next one I have are the matte lip gloss from LA Girl. These are also kind of drying, but they really stay on. I mean, they are, for me, pretty dang bulletproof. This is the applicator, very small, very slender doe foot. They have a slightly minty smell, which lipstick can only smell like vanilla or mint in my world to have me be happy. Rebel is a nice color. It gives me pretty much one coat coverage, which is impressive for a deep wine shade. I don't find it patchy, and I think it's really nice. The other one I have from them is Bazaar. Bazaar is this lovely pinky nude with a little bit of warmth to it. And once again, there's Bazaar. No complaints, very comfortable, very easy to wear and I really like it. The next two I have are Lipitude from JCat Beauty. Um, and the LA Girl is made in, it says it's from Canada. I researched and found this was cruelty free, but I don't know if it sells in China or not. So I'm not 100% certain. JCat Beauty is labeled as cruelty free. And um, I will show you, this is one I got into an, in an Ipsy bag, so I didn't buy this one. This is the color 15 BEAD LLS115. They like don't name their colors. But this is a stain. It's got a super minty smell. 
I really enjoy the scent of it. I really enjoy the way it feels on my lips. I don't feel like it dries it out, especially for a stain. It takes it a few hours to kind of matte down. It will transfer at first, but once it stains, it is a gorgeous stay all day, amazing stain. So then I bought a second one of these, and this is the color Sippy Tipsy, which I thought would be like a pretty soft coral. This is, for my personal taste, a little too neon. So there's the applicator, very skinny, very small. And let's see, I'll go on underneath my wrist. This is just not my best color. It is really neon coral. It's just a little too bright for me personally. But if you like a bright coral color, this is a nice affordable option and you can get these online. And um, I like them. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. They're a nice lip stain and they dry down really pretty. And then finally, my favorite. So these and the NYX ones are pretty much my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks in history. And that is the ColourPop Ultra Satin. I do not like the Ultra Matte. I had one, I wore it for like an hour. My lips felt like they were going to bleed, so I gave it away. But the Ultra Satin is a nice. It does become, I think, a matte finish, but it's a comfortable matte finish. And these wear fantastically. They transfer. They're not like bulletproof. Like you can't go like kiss someone or like if you drink, it's gonna come off on it. But I've eaten and drank with them on and they don't come off. So they are number one in my book. And the first color I have is Naked Ladies. It's one of the summer colors. I also like the applicator on these as well. They're a little bit more of just a standard doe foot, but I do like them. So this is Naked Ladies. And I've got it next to that J Cat one. And it's just a little bit more, this is an orange I'll wear. And it's funny because it's just because this has a little bit more red in it, I feel like it's slightly more wearable. So that is that one. Next I've got the Rabbit, which is oh, so good. So the Rabbit is this amazing fuchsia pink with almost like blue reflex to it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the swatch, but that is the Rabbit. It is just this tremendous fuchsia. I love this color. Then I've got Another favorite, Lion King, which is kind of my go-to red that's not red. I'll put it right there. So it's a red pink. It's almost, do you see like next to the rabbit, the rabbit has a lot of blue undertones. This is a pink red and it has more like I guess red undertones, but it's got some brick to it. It's not too in your face, and I love that color. And then I've got a couple more neutral colors. This is frickin' Frack. Which is so 90s. <laughs> and I like graduated high school in 1996, so I can totally say that. But that is frickin' Frack. I love this. If you want something really neutral, and soft, it's a great color, like a great color. And then finally, Molly, I love Molly, especially when my hair is pink or purple, like it usually is. Molly is just this really pretty, wearable kind of mauve. There's not too much gray in it, there's not too much purple. For me, it's just a really cool color. So there we go. That is all my other drugstore and affordable liquid lipsticks. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please let me know if there's any that I haven't tried that I should try. Um, also, let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to try and review. I'm always open to new products and to trying new things. And y'all are such a good source for that. So um, your comments mean the world to me and I can't wait to hear from you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.